Hey everyone, welcome to Mountain Beast Mysteries. It was asked in the comments by Janet Davis for me to go over the Marble Mountain video and what I thought of that. I'm sure all of you have probably seen it. It's very popular. I think it was filmed in June of 2001 by a guy named Jim Mills and he was the leader of a youth group who was going out on a backpacking trip to this Marble Mountain area. Marble Mountain's located in California just like the Patterson-Gimlin footage. Since the first time I saw the Marble Mountain footage, I never thought it was a real Bigfoot creature. It always just felt to me like it was a person. And a big part of that is because there's certain parts in the clip where it really doesn't seem as sure-footed as I think a real Sasquatch would be. You can kind of see it stumbles around multiple times as it's coming down this this ridge. And uh, I think a Bigfoot creature that lived out in the wilderness would be a bit more sure-footed and it wouldn't look like it was out of its element like this being kind of does, right? No detail in the silhouette. The camera quality is very poor. You know, it was shot back in 2001, so it, it looks like it was on some, some sort of tape, like a mini DV tape. Standard definition. And all it is is a silhouette. There's no detail. You can't see anything. Bigfoot Tony went over the video. MK Davis stabilized it. The exact spot that the youth group is in, there's a campsite right there. There's a fire pit. The guy in the video says there's a fire pit there. And uh, there also appears to be some sort of shelter that was made. A very basic spruce bow shelter. And uh, you can actually see in the video, there looks to be a piece of rope attached to one of the logs at the entrance of this shelter. So there has been humans there. What's to say there isn't another campsite in the area? You know, not too far from there, maybe on the other side of the ridge. It could very well be another hiker, a solo hiker, doing his own thing. He probably has a camp somewhere else, and he was probably just summiting that peak. They brought a whole youth group on this trail, so I'm assuming it's a very well-known hike. The chances of them being the only people there in the summer are pretty slim. I mean, it's getting harder and harder nowadays to to not run into people out on these trails. The Sasquatch is a very elusive creature. I don't know why it would silhouette itself like that for all to see right on, on a ridge like that. Yeah, it, it moves down that ridge like a human would. It stumbles around, it's not sure-footed, it's very sloppy, and it doesn't care that it's exposed in all directions, basically. So that to me kind of rules out the idea that it could be a Bigfoot. Some people say its limbs look very long. You know, there's chromatic aberration in the footage and other artifacts that really, really dissolve the quality of it. It also like proportionately doesn't really look like a Bigfoot. It's not very thick. Its legs look skinny. It doesn't have huge broad shoulders. It just doesn't really look like a Bigfoot. It doesn't act like a Bigfoot. So it's most likely not a Bigfoot. What a great way to excite this group of kids as well, you know, claiming that it could be a Bigfoot and get them all excited. You know, they're going to talk about this trip for many, many years. It's going to be very memorable for them because of this incident. I kind of feel like the leader of this group was just going along with it to, to get some excitement for the kids. There's also a point in the video where the being walks down further. He's in between two spruce trees and it looks like he's doing something, but the gentleman narrating the video, the group leader, is saying like, oh, he's furious, he's waving his arms around and shaking his fists or whatever, but it doesn't really appear to be doing anything like that. It's just making its way down the, down the slope, and it's not doing anything to make me believe that it is angry or upset with them. You know, if you, you look at the stabilized video, you can you can see easily that it's just making its way down the slope and it's it doesn't seem to be too bothered that there's a group of kids camping there. The creature eventually moves out of frame and the video cuts to the next morning and the guy filming says they haven't seen any sign of the, the being at all. So I'm assuming it was a person that just moved on to his campsite and that's it. He probably took off before these guys did the next day and continued on the hike. I honestly don't believe it is a Bigfoot creature at all. I think if it was a Bigfoot creature, it wouldn't have silhouetted itself like it did in this video. It would be taking a lot more care in hiding itself 
and it would obviously know that there's a group of kids, you know, not that far away. Those are my thoughts on the Marble Mountain video. Let me know what you guys think below. I know this one's been very popular. It's been out for a long time. It's really hard with these older videos because the resolution is so poor, but this one doesn't do it for me. I'm not buying it. It doesn't look like a Sasquatch or act like a Sasquatch, so. My verdict, not a Sasquatch, it's a person. One more thing before I wrap up this video, I was just surfing along YouTube, looking at random stuff, and I came across a video that I thought was very interesting called Ritualized Warfare in New Guinea. And I have the link below in the description if you wanna check it out. I've been doing a lot of reading on like early humans and things of that nature. And I thought it was a very interesting video because it's almost like the camera crew traveled back in time to film this massive battle between these two tribes. And it is so incredible. They're throwing spears at each other and they're shooting arrows at each other. This one guy got shot in the ass with, a, with an arrow and it was just hanging out of his butt and they had to pull it out. It was pretty funny. But check it out. It is super interesting. Like, it, it's a window back in time for sure. Anyways, that's all I got for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the next episode of Mountain Beast Mysteries. Bit of a change of scenery from the usual mountainous areas, but there's lots of reports from Eastern Alberta around Lac La Biche and uh, also Northern Alberta. Even like not too far north of Edmonton, Skeleton Lake area, North Buck Lake. There's reports out of there as well. But uh, just stopped here to check out this tree break. It's like over seven feet tall and uh, it looks very, very fresh. But with this tree break, I don't know if you can see it there, I'm almost certain it's from like an antlered creature, like a elk or something like that. Look at the bottom of the branch here. So it looks as if something was rubbing its antlers on this small sapling and then it broke. Could have been a moose actually. It's more likely a moose than an elk out here. The weird thing is there's no tracks in the snow around here at all. No tracks, but it looks fresh, so that's kind of odd, but keep pushing on, see what we can find. I literally walked like 10 feet, not even from this tree break and found something else. Here, I'll point the camera at the tree break so you can see it. <laughs> now the weird thing is that this stick, this is kind of similar to what I saw out on Vancouver Island when I was at uh, Henry Lake. When I was driving up the road, I stopped and I saw a weird stick on a tree. It was just, it looked like it was placed there. And this is very, very similar. Check this out. So I don't know, it looks to be from a different kind of tree. And it's about three feet long. Well, like two and a half feet maybe. And it's just placed there. Like, almost the exact same way that stick was on Vancouver Island. It's really weird, just perfectly like vertical with the tree. hanging on by this twig. 
Hard to tell, right? Could have fallen from this tree behind it, but it just kind of landed perfectly. Perfectly like that.